Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released watchOS 9.4 to the public. This is available to all watchOS 9 supported devices from the Apple Watch Series 4 to the Apple Watch Ultra. And this came in at a fairly small 216 megabytes on the Apple Watch Ultra and brings some nice features, bug fixes and more. Now this was released alongside iOS 16.4, so you'll want to have that before you install this version as well. Now, as far as new features, well, there's a few changes or updates here, and the first one has to do with messages. So if you've seen the iOS 16.4 is out, what's new video, if you go into your messages and then maybe select emoji, you'll have some new emoji. There's actually 21 new emoji from a shaking face to jellyfish to different things you'll see here, such as a pink heart. We also have a blue heart, a blackbird and more. So there's quite a few different ones as well as a hand facing up in each direction and more. So those are all added to Apple watch as well as iOS as well. Now, of course, there were recent bands released not too long ago for spring, and there's actually some new watch faces to support those. So if we go into the Apple watch app on our iPhone, then tap on face gallery, and we can go to color or gradient, go to gradient. You'll see here that we have a couple different ones or three. And if we tap on the plus here, they've actually archived the fall 2022 colors and have added the spring 2023 colors. So you'll see those here where we have this color, which they call sky. We have purple fog and then sprout green. So those have been added for spring and you may find other faces, depending on if you have an Hermes version or something else, you could have different faces for spring as well, based on what watch band or watch you actually have. Now, something they've added that's really nice if you're using sleep tracking is wake up alarms will no longer be muted or silenced when you use the cover gesture to turn off the display. So if you use your palm or hand cover the display, it turns off. This was actually causing accidental alarms to be canceled or causing them to accidentally be canceled during sleep and then causing a problem with people not waking up properly. So they've actually changed that where it will no longer silence when you actually cover it. So if you're sleeping and you do that by mistake, you put it on your arm, it won't silence your alarm anymore. So that's great that they've updated that. Now within the health app, they've actually updated cycle tracking as well. And cycle tracking has been updated with retrospective ovulation estimates and cycle deviation alerts, which are now supported in Moldova and Ukraine. So that's something we didn't have before. Also on your iPhone, you'll need to go into the fitness app to see this one. This is fairly small, but if we go into the fitness app, wherever we have it here, there it is, go into fitness, scroll down where we have our awards. They've actually added some new awards for our move goals. So prior to this, it was only up to 3000 for move goals. Now they've added it up to 4,000. So we have 3250, 3500, 3750 and 4,000. So it's a small update, but if you're working out, that may be helpful for you. Additionally, if you're using your watch to measure AFib, so your heart activity, and maybe you're having it see if you have AFib or atrial fibrillation. This is actually now available in Colombia, Malaysia, Moldova, Thailand, and Ukraine. So they've updated this here as well. And you can use that if you want to set it up, if you want it to monitor for that. Now, additionally, there's a bug fix built into this update and they've actually fixed something specifically with the Apple watch series six 44 millimeter. And that has to do with battery. So if you go into your settings down under settings, under settings, go down to battery under battery. We have battery health. Now you'll see this one is actually probably at 100%. There it is 100%. And what they've actually done is now update the watch. So it now estimates its maximum battery capacity more accurately. That's specifically to the series six 44 millimeter. So prior to this, it wasn't showing it properly. Hopefully you'll gain some percentage there if you were fairly low and it was maybe giving an inaccurate reading. Let me know if it's updated for you in the comments below. Now, additionally, there's some security updates as well. If we go to Apple security website in Safari within Safari, if you scroll down, once it's updated, usually a little bit after the update releases, you'll see the security updates. So they'll update and patch a bunch of security bugs. And that makes this really important for installing it. You want to make sure that you update to this update. Apple watch, updates tend to be fairly stable. So I really wouldn't hesitate to update to 9.4 since they tend to really work fairly well.
Now, as far as release notes, we did get some release notes with the release candidate, and there are still a few things mentioned in there. So if we go into the feedback app, if you still have that, you can see the notes or you can log in as a developer to see those. And within the notes, you can see here, now the release candidate is the same as the public release. So there's still some bugs within that. And as you can see, they fixed that Apple watch series six maximum battery capacity calculation. So that's there. They've also got some known issues here for medications. And it says users who were previously on 9.2.1 build may experience issues of missing medication schedules on watch or medication dose logging on watch not appearing on the phone. They give you a workaround for that as well. So it says on a companion iPhone, remove the affected medication schedule and re-add it or on the affected watch erase and reinstall as a new device on any release after 9.2.1. So if you're experiencing that issue, you can actually resolve it. And then they've resolved some issues with Swift UI as well. So not a ton of bug fixes or changes in 9.4, but there are some nice little updates there. As far as overall performance, performance seems to be fine loading different apps. And typically you're going to find that is going to happen on one of the watch ultras. And you'll see here, it's not updating my voice in real time right now. For some reason, let's go into maybe go up here to music and that loaded pretty quickly. If we go back, go back to noise and it seems that one's sort of stuck for some reason. So there may be some bugs in here from time to time, but in general performance seems to be fine. If we go into the compass go back, it seems to be fine. So it's working well. I really haven't had any issues there. As far as battery life, well, you saw my battery health. It was only at 80% as I took this off the charger earlier than normal, as I have optimized battery charging enabled, but I have 76%. I've used 4% since taking it off the charger, probably an hour or so ago at this point, and it's doing fine. It easily gets me through the two days it normally did. As far as additional updates, well, we can expect watchOS 9.5 probably as soon as this week for beta testers or early next week. That's what typically happens with Apple. And then of course, we'll see all the major updates at WWDC 2023, where Apple will introduce watchOS 10 typically. So just in early June, usually the first full week, we'll have the worldwide developer conference. We'll see iOS 17 as well as watchOS 10 and others. So that's typically what we'll see. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we get some nice changes. Now, additionally, many people ask me what watch face I'm using. So I wanted to share that. And if we just press and hold here, you'll see this is modular. This is modular, but we have an app called Lumi in the middle. So Lumi shows you golden hour and sunset and different moon phases and things like that to help you get the best photos throughout the day. So that's something that's been added. It is a paid app I paid for, I put it on here. It just looks pretty good. So if you wanted to check that out, I just rearranged music compass and weather here, and you can arrange it however you'd like, but that's what this watch face is. And so that's everything in watchOS 9.4. If you found anything else, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>